Hi Chase, uh, Ben here just going through your video analysis work uh, from camp and uh, thanks for coming to camp. Um, I've been doing video analysis work for the last decade or so and won a minor league batting title so um, I think I found a couple things in your swing, been watching your swing a little bit and just wanted to review those with you of, of some things to get better in regards to your swing so uh, let's go ahead and get started here. So. Looking at your stance and your start, everything looks in pretty good shape uh, in regards to uh, where your feet are, where your hands are, and things. Uh, very athletic uh, little player, and I look forward to seeing you progress as you get older here. So uh, a couple things that I did see that I, I want you to try to work on in regards to your swing. Um, as this, you can see, the ball's beginning to come in here and into play. Uh, at contact here, everything's in pretty good shape. Uh, you can see at the... Uh, the back part of our swing, I do want to engage your lower half a little bit more, so uh, you can see if I back up a few frames here. You want to make sure at contact that you're going to be uh, nice and solid and try to finish that swing to where you're going to be really, really balanced. And at the end of our swing, you want to be able to have that back foot uh, really be up nice and high. So if I focus at contact here, you can you can see that that back foot is kind of towards the ground. You want that heel and that label of that shoe to be really facing high to the sky. I think that's going to get you to engage your lower half a little bit more and get you a little bit more power. Um, the other thing is if I draw a straight line, uh, you can see your body's more in the middle part uh, of your, your feet there. And what you want to do is you, you want to have a line that goes from your knee all the way straight up. So what you want to do is you want to take that your head and, and put it back about six inches here. Uh, instead of being a little bit more forward, you want it to have a little bit more back. Because the more forward you are, um, it's going to be uh, more arms compared to your whole body. And I think that's going to help you with, with your swing a little bit too uh, when you do that here. The other thing is to be careful of too is we want to try to stay through the ball a little bit more. You can see right after contact that uh, my hands uh, turn over that top hand. You want to keep that palm up, palm down drill. You want to really keep that palm up as long as you can and and keep that barrel on plane because the ball is going to be coming in uh, on this plane right here and you want to keep your barrel uh, on that plane as long as you can. But it, if right after contact, if I really turn those hands, then it's going to have that barrel. You can see that that barrel leaves the zone and goes away. So just something to be aware about. And what I used to do is I used to take two T's and have called the two T drill and basically you take two T's and put a ball up on each T and what you can do is just uh, imagine the ball that you're hitting and then have a ball in front of it and just have your barrel stay on plane and, and try to go through two balls and it's really going to help you do that. Uh, also at the end of your swing just hold and, and hold your finish. You can see at the end of our swing here that you're going to have the back foot's going to be on the ground which you want it to be completely up and you want the label of the shoe to be facing the sky. And then the other thing on the front foot, you can see that the heel came off, and you want to make sure that that stays on the ground. So it's almost you want it the opposite. You want the back heel to be up, and you want the front heel to be uh, on the ground compared to uh, up here. And uh, that's just a little thing to work on in regards to uh, the balance of your, of your swing there to work on it. So let's go into uh, another swing here. All right, so we go into another swing as I go to land foot here. Everything's in pretty good shape. One thing that we do do is you have a tendency to want to drop your hands too early. Uh, so when I go to swing, let's try starting with our hands a little bit higher. And what's going to do is it's going to really help you work at a downward angle and, and help you not be late uh, to the ball, be more on time. Uh, so have your hands up by your ears, up higher. And what that's going to do is that's going to help you work more this direction because right now when we when we land with our front foot you're going to see that your hands really drop and and that's not really what we're going to be wanting to do because uh, that's going to get us underneath the baseball and be late you see you can see as our hands drop that drops our barrel so you can see that obviously your uh, this is a uh, at this point of our swing your barrel drops here you want to make sure that your barrel is at this angle so I can really work on working downhill to the baseball and not uh, be underneath the ball, but uh, you can see as I go through, my hands drop. So try to keep your hands up higher. What I used to do too is I used to take a tee and, and put it right here and, and put that tee with the ball on it. So let's
let's say that T goes right there with the ball on it, uh, what you're going to want to do is, if you put the T back there, if your barrel drops or your hands drops, you'll notice that I'm going to hit the ball, uh, or I'm going to hit the T. And at this point of your swing, you still want your hands uh, to be up in this area, and you want your barrel to be more here, because I want to hit the ball going this way. And right now, if I take all the lines away, you're going to be more going uphill or, or more flat and uphill, where you want to be more uh, flat and downhill. You can see how we're underneath the ball. Uh, again, at contact, contact we're a little bit better in regards to our feet, but you can I do notice that uh, both this front leg and the back leg are straight. And, and right now at your swing, what you want to do is you want to have uh, kind of your hips back in here. You want more angle in our in our backside, and you want your head uh, all the way back here. Instead of being here, just move this head back uh, some more. So you need to make sure that you want to have those uh, head stay back because that's going to create more power. If we're too far forward, or if both legs are straight like that, that's going to create more. Uh, arm power. So we want legs and arm power. Where right now it's just uh, arm power and upper body. So those are so those are the four or five things that I think are going to make a a really big difference in regards to our swing, the two T drill and uh, the the T behind and just focusing at the end. Just hold your finish at the end. You can see hold your finish. Check yourself out. You can see at the end, kind of, we, we're losing our balance a little bit here. We want to really hold our finish to make sure our legs are where they should be at the end of our swing. What should my feet look like? Um, is my head on the baseball? Uh, don't drop your hands and things. You can just work on those things. A lot of T work would be good for you, where you're just not worrying about anything of mechanics or you're not worrying about where the ball is or how hard it's being pitched. And you can just work on T work to to work on really getting the fundamentals down and and not doing it just once to see how many times out of 100 you can really do it well. Uh, so I think those are going to be uh, some big things in regards to your swing. So uh, we really appreciate you coming to camp. Watch this video over and over again. Uh, I know it's a lot of work and it's going to be some things, but it's going to make a, a huge difference in regards to your swing. So uh, I look forward to uh, seeing you down at a, at a future camp here and uh, and keep up the good work.